Yeah, my dad in the street against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. Five blokes outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story. So stay tuned. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I never thought I'd be interviewing Spencer Fearon on a boat, but here we are. I'm telling you, man, I haven't seen so many black people on a boat since Rinrush. But that's another thing, all right? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, obviously, uh, they've gone out all this week, Boxer, uh, for Shields Marshall. Historic occasion uh, at the O2 this Saturday night. Not only is it historic, it's actually fantastic for the sport. What, what, what Boxer have put together for this, it's amazing because... It is, it's, it's fantastic and it's a really good undercard as well, you know what I mean? Um, it's a wicked undercard, a wicked undercard and I'm, I'm so grateful that I've been giving my VIPs to come along and attend to, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that bro. Yeah of course, uh, I was going to ask you, uh, what actually are you doing here? Because we know you're not working with Sky or Boxer so you've got your VIP sorted though. Um, yeah, I've just come to, to see what's going on and and I'm looking forward to the fights. And not only that, but you know I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty tight with um, Clarissa Shields. She's a big friend of um, the fighters, right? Show me and Tundi. So, you know what I mean? So I'm coming out there. But also, I've known Savannah from, for, for donkeys. And like a fight of that magnitude, yeah, you've got to come out and say, we've got to go support that. Before we talk uh, heavyweight things, I actually want to get the scoop, or try to get the scoop out of you about Anthony Yard. Uh, we know he's waiting for better BF to, to return from injury. Uh, but yeah, what's the latest? Have you heard anything from Team Yard inside the camp? What you're going to have to do with that one is get Coogan Cassius to go and speak to Baba Tundi Ajayi, <laughs> the manager and trainer of Anti Yard, and he can tell you what's going on. <laughs> why, why does he beat Arta Better BF? Or how can he beat Arta Better BF? How does he beat him? By just, if, if Anti Yard turns up, which he will turn up, then he's going to be victorious. This is what I've noticed. People need to realise this part here, yeah? That loyalty is royalty. And the relationship that Anthony has got with Tundi Ajayi and they've, um, and they've got Adi in the camp as well. They've also got the legendary MBE, former um, European and British super middleweight champion in James Cook. That's a wealth, a plethora of knowledge that they've got. So, you know what I mean? When you're saying how, this is what I don't understand. On certain things, when I'm saying to people, right, you're meant to back your own, you back your own, right? In respect to what you think the outcome is going to be, you back your own. But no, in this case here, I'm backing my own and I, and I believe with, with, with my limited knowledge on the sport that Anti Yard will come out victorious. But the major thing right now is not for you to talk about Anti Yard, it's to talk about Savannah Marshall um, going out to become undisputed middleweight champion of the world against Clarissa Shorts. Does she do it this Saturday night, Savannah? Um, she's the betting favourite, right? Yeah. It's not an easy fight. Um, this is the closest thing that we have to Sugar Ray Leonard versus Tommy the Hitman Hearns, September 16th, 1981 in Vegas. This is the closest thing that we've got in female boxing. Oh, we yep. okay, yeah, yeah. It's the closest thing. Yeah, this is the closest thing that we've got. You've got somebody who's a tall, rangy, knows what to gauge range, how to throw hard shots, you know what I mean? And they, and they do it with skill in Savannah Marshall. You've got someone who's got, who throws um, uh, numerous punches, got side to side lateral movement, you know what I mean? Can, can pop as well, even though our record doesn't suggest that she's a big banger, but she does pop um, in Clarissa Shields. This is a fantastic fight, a fantastic fight. And if you haven't, uh, or you weren't planning to tune in to go and watch the fight, you haven't bought your ticket to go and watch the fight, go down to the O2 or go watch it on Sky Sports because it's been an excellent fight. Okay, let me just get your reaction, please, Spencer, to um, George Warren, Frank Warren's son, and Eddie Hearn having conversations in the last 48 hours about making Fury Joshua. What was your reaction uh, when that news came out? I have no reaction. Uh, You've got to think something, surely. Uh, I, I believe that Andy Joshua right now needs to take a rest. Uh, he, he needs to uh, recapitulate his mind. Um, instead of him running out to say, oh, I'm going to go take a fight, I'm going to go take a fight, I'm going to go take a fight, for what? That means that you're chasing the win, right? More than you're, more than you're, you're, you're chasing your own sanity, right? And I think what he needs to do is to to recalibrate his mindset. That's what I believe that Anthony Joshua needs to do at this present moment in time. You know what I mean? I think Anthony Joshua, that we've, we've spoken quite a few times since since the, since him coming second best against Usyk, uh, and that's what I believe that Anthony Joshua needs to do. Like I said before, 
uh, on the news that he just needs a big hug, sit down and refocus his mind. And if he can refocus his mind, because I believe that everything is mental, tools-wise, ability-wise, he's got everything to come out successful in any fight. But he needs to, to, to recalibrate his mind. Can I just put a counter to that? What, what some fans would say to that. So Anthony Joshua at the moment is out of the title picture. It's going to take him a while to get a mandatory shot. He's been offered here a WBC title shot, about 35, 45 million pounds. And one of the biggest fights his country will ever see between Joshua and Fury. So would you not take that with both hands? Um, no, because what I'm trying to say to you is that I believe that he has to um, exercise or there has to be a spiritual exorcism of the demons that are inside his soul. And once he does that, and once he looks at um, his own inner greatness, if he looks at his inner greatness within himself, and he says, yeah, this, this, is, this is working for me, then I'm gonna, yeah, you know what I mean? Like I said, I've, I've mentioned this many times, Marcus Garvey, one of the, one of the greatest men of the, of the last 100 years, um, turned around and said that God and nature first made us who we are, then out of our own creative genius. Our own creative genius, we make ourselves who we want to be, follow that great law, put God in the skies as our limit and eternity, our measurement. Anthony Joshua, when he came into boxing, his, his major thing was, I'm going to get the bag. He's got the bag. He's a very, very financially wealthy man. He's good like that. But when I spoke to Anthony Joshua, he said, Spence, it's not about the money. So if that is the case, then maybe he will take the fight. But me personally, I'd like to see Anthony Joshua sit down for a little piece and, and kind of get away from boxing. Go chill, man. Go, go out to the Caribbean somewhere. Go, go Nigeria. Go eat some pounded yam and, and some aguse and, you know what I mean? and, and, and some fufu. Go do some of that and just chill. Put your feet up for a little piece. Look off your phone. Look off social media and just chill. And then when you go do that, your spirits get aligned, then come back and fight. Okay, Spencer Ferrer, thank you very much for your thoughts. Um, yeah, press conference tomorrow, away in Friday and fight night Saturday. Tune into Sky Sports if you can't make it at the O2. Appreciate your time, we'll speak soon. Yeah, man, big up. I ain't seen you in a hot minute. <laughs> hey, um, you've, you've lost weight, you know? Do you reckon? Yeah, man. Thank it's you. that new girl you got in it. <laughs>